everyone. Uh, this is our iteration release video for the conversion group on digital experience for June 29th. I'm going to hand it over to Tina and we're going to chat about what we did this iteration. Thanks. I'm just going to share my screen. Um, so here we go. So for this um, iteration, I designed, or I prim my primary focus was um, a redesign of our homepage. So in previous releases, I showed some of the um, research we've done um, to back up some of the decisions we're making here and uh, the wireframes. So, um, so this is it come to life. Uh, just keep in mind that all of the images Literally all of the copy, um, I kind of copy pasted from all over the site and all of the um, icons are all placeholders for, for now. Um, and so, and also this hero carousel, I'm actually gonna let Margaret walk you through that. She um, did a really amazing job on bringing that to life. I was saying things to her like, I just wanted to kind of come out from the side and say, hey, I'm here. And I was using words like, imagine it's an elastic. So um, props to her for, for doing that. So we're gonna skip that for now, but this solution does um, solve a few challenges. Um, but one of which is that um, there's, we don't really have a great way to show featured content on our homepage. Um, and the traditional carousel, uh, especially an auto advancing one, just has a lot of um, usability issues and accessibility issues. So then um, moving down, we have a section here. Um, to The idea is that we would lead with product. Uh, currently, we don't really lead with product information. We kind of lead with customers. So it's kind of putting, uh, what is that, the, the cart before the horse. Um, so this section really, um, kind of answers the what is Get GitLab. It also highlights our um, key differentiators and uh, value propositions down here, um, links to our platform. This is a great place to show the what is GitLab video. And um, we can maybe, we're gonna work with Brian to maybe get some more engaging visuals here that maybe move a little bit. Um, moving down, uh, we're gonna focus here on ROA, our OI, return on investment. So this is um, answering the, you know, why also why GitLab, we're starting with uh, why GitLab. So, you know, we don't currently highlight uh, return on investment really well. So we could show a customer um, case study here and um, our ROI calculator. The not sure where to start this resource section is performing extremely well on our current page. So I think that we still wanna keep it in the top one third of the page. Uh, this section here, there's not a white line here. Um, it's just like a prototype problem. Um, we'll focus on DevSecOps. So this um, section here would show our key purchasing drivers for each segment here, development, security, and operations with an emphasis on artificial intelligence. So these would be tabs. Maybe this could be kind of code. Again, just a placeholder image here. And then we would back everything up, um, prove our claims with these uh, customer stories. So we're, we'd be moving this further down, even though it's currently performing well, but uh, we feel strongly that for the narrative, this is the, the right position for this uh, component. And then kind of end the page with um, showcasing our um, accolades and um, recognitions here. So with Gartner and Forrester, and this kind of positions us as a leading DevSecOps platform. And then uh, just an update on our um, last call, kind of final catch-all CTAs uh, to get started, add a link to pricing here and talk to an ex expert. Um, and then that's it for me. I will pass it along to Margaret uh, to talk about the carousel and other things she worked on. Yeah, so as Tina mentioned, I worked on um, creating uh, the carousel. Let me know when you guys can see my screen. The carousel she mentioned, um, so this is like the carousel in action. I'm going to refresh the page. So uh, one of the things she was mentioning is the, the little animation you see there, like to just not do it, so knowing this can be scrollable. And um, yeah, this is the content, um, how the content would look. Uh, we have uh, three content types. So this is an image, this will be a text block, and these are cards. 
So these are all clickable. And this is how it looks when you hover over the cart. We also added a drag functionality. We kind of wanted to have like a seamless experience between devices uh, that, uh, from Tina. Uh, so we added the drag here uh, for the carts and the content just uh, to work similar as that as it would on a phone. Um, and we also have um, just the ability to move using the controls here. So just we're all trying to make the scrolling here uh, seamless as possible um, and like the user just to choose to see the content instead of just like you know, just auto playing and just like uh, bombarding the user with a lot of content and not time, uh, not enough time to see what's happening. So um, I think the notch here at the beginning, it's pretty helpful. Like if you're reading through the content, just like know that there's more content to be seen. Um, and I think that was like the bulk of my work. I also worked on finding and replacing um, some of the, I'm not replacing, sorry, just finding, <laughs> uh, finding uh, the hard-coded text in our components. So I have a consolidated list of the components is about 130 components and pages. And I'm now going through uh, just identifying if we're using those components um, in like the type of text, if it's just copy, if it's just like, some of those are just learn more and copy, just one line. So trying to identify those and maybe uh, we can create uh, different issues to tackle those and to group them. And the ones that we're not even using, maybe there's that's a chance for us to just uh, reconsider if we need those components, if we can just delete those and clean up some of those uh, from our repo. Um, besides those two issues, I worked on small issues. Uh, I'm not that screen. Um, Work on small issues, um, work some redirections from a uh, pricing calculator to just a pricing page. I also updated some, um, I think one image on the home page, and I think that was it for my iteration. It was a short one for me. Uh, we had a couple of holidays. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna pass it over to Nathan. Thanks. Oh, the home page looks super nice. Excited to see it in action. Um, yeah, the last two weeks, the last iteration, I shouldn't say two weeks because there's some holidays and times off and my house got zapped. So <laughs> it was a bit all over the place, but, um, yeah, I did some work with features, uh, the partials, um, luckily a lot of the work was already done. So I was able to close that pretty quickly. Um, and then for the Y premium and Y ultimate pricing pages, uh, we list out all the features and, um, before we were showing, like if you're an ultimate, we're showing all the premium ones as well. So now we only show the features for that tier. Uh, so it should make, I guess, looking at those pages a little, a little easier. Uh, and then I'll show, uh, which one should I do? Also some pre-blog migration stuff. So just trying to come up with like a, a flow chart and how we're going to implement the blog. Is it a new project? How's it going to work with CMS and all that fun stuff. Uh, but I will show one thing. And that is we've migrated. So this page used to use demand base. Uh, data from demand base to populate uh, the border around premium enterprise based on uh, if you're a small business enter or enterprise. Um, and so it's now changed to six cents. Uh, and so the way we're doing it is through an API call, which means it's no longer on the window, but it was kind of handy to see, uh, you know, what data there was and you can check if it has like your location properly. Uh, so I did add it to the window. So if you do check, uh, it's called window six cents data. You can go just by clicking. Uh, and then you can see in here all sorts of stuff. For me, it's not 100% accurate, but uh, in there, it shows you a confidence level. And so maybe in the future, next iteration, we can maybe only show the borders if our confidence level is like medium or higher. Because uh, right now the confidence level is low and it's matching me with Vice, which I don't work at Vice, but uh, might be something to look into. Uh, yeah, and that's it for me. Justin, do you want to take it away? Yeah, I'll speak for Miracle a little bit. She was out quite a bit for this iteration and she's out again. Um, Miracle, we a lot of back and forth on updating uh, Forrest and Gartner badges on free trial page as well as the homepage. Uh, that finally got approved and, is, and went up. Um, she also worked on a, a bunch of small issues for uh, pricing page. Um, and some redirect uh, tool tips on the install page, as well as updating a, a few other things on the homepage. Um, and that's pretty much she worked on uh, this iteration. Yeah, I think that's it.
Thank you, everyone.